would you believe that I recorded most of this for four hours, three and a half hours yesterday? Today's video, as you see from the title, is a plan with me bullet journal video. So let's get straight into it. I didn't really know what to say for this voiceover, so I'm going to just tell you about the changes I'm making to this month's spreads. First, I'll be putting my mood tracker on this month's cover page. I realized that I spend a lot of time and effort on my monthly cover pages and even go through the process of choosing appropriate quotes for the month, never to see them again once I start living through the month and adding to my daily spreads. So, as a way to remind myself of the message I intended to send with these quotes, I think I'll try to put at least one of my trackers on the cover page from now on. This will hopefully give me reason to flip back on a daily basis. Speaking of flipping back, from the beginning of my bullet journal, I've utilized Dutch doors to have a mini weekly spread instead of an entire page dedicated to the week prior to doing daily spreads. Since I'm using my bullet journal for work and personal life, I need space to write each day with two separate sections. Also, from what I've seen, weekly spreads are more or less spaces to keep to-do lists. I didn't feel like I needed a whole page for lists, <laughs> and I already knew that flipping back and forth wouldn't be practical. I know, the logic tracks. But this month, I've decided to test out having separate weekly and daily spreads. I don't know if I'll keep this going after May or if I'll even keep this going throughout May, but it's worth a shot because I feel like I need to change some things up in order to keep me from feeling lethargic about bullet journaling. Please let me know in the comments below if you also change your productivity styles from time to time or if this video is helpful, inspiring, or relaxing to watch. I'd love to know your thoughts. So we are keeping the Dutch doors, but since one of my two trackers is now on the cover page, you'd think I'd use this opportunity to decorate more, but definitely not. I've decided to add monthly goals, which is something I had before on the cover pages of January and February that I never looked at. 
I'm hoping that constantly seeing them on the sides of my daily spreads will make a difference. I'm also adding to-dos and events from my future log and a space for budgeting, which I actually turned into a shopping list <laughs> because I decided to add a larger budgeting section on the last page for this month. So now I can make all the scribbles of things to buy, do, or research in my brain dump, then sort and prioritize and have a final version in this section. The last change I'm making is to my habit tracker. After watching Ryder Carroll's video on a simple habit tracker, I actually started remembering the habit tracker that I purchased to paste into my bullet journal. And he explained the same kind of expectations versus reality structure. The only real difference between this and what I did before is drawing these dots on the days that I'm hoping to complete these habits. After noticing that I haven't been as attentive to filling in my habit tracker in a timely manner, I thought this might make me a bit more mindful without feeling stressed. This way of tracking helps you adjust your expectations so that you feel more like you've grown into having a habit and less like you've failed to build one. My adjustment to his method, however, is I will be using open shapes like circles, squares, triangles, instead of X's to mark when I've done something. This way, I can see clearly when I completed a habit on an expected day versus when I completed a habit on a day I didn't plan to. If you've made it this far into the video, let me know what suggestions you have for my June color palette. I know this May palette is very shocking to those of you who know me in real life because there is so much pink, but I am open to suggestions regardless of the colors and please come back next month to see which palette suggestion I choose. Now let's see the final flip through. Turn on the lights in here, baby. Extra bad, I want y'all to hear. See this. Oh, turn on the lights in here, baby. Mm -hmm. I see all of the light. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Definitely been saying that wrong the entire time I've been alive. We had an agreement, you got greedy, then you double back. That's a no no. How you thought you'd get away with that? If you switching up, I might have.